สวัสดีค่ะ Hi everyone, I'm excited to show you how to make one of the popular Thai dish. It's not just popular in Thailand, but it's also outside of Thailand as well. I'm pretty sure most of people, when you're thinking about Thai food, this dish will be the first one that come to your mind. Yes, it is Pad Thai. Pad Thai is very delicious noodle dish that full of complexity in their flavor. And I hope after watching the video today, you feel like you want to cook Pad Thai yourself at home, so then you can enjoy this yummy dish more often. Before we start cooking, let's take a look of all the ingredients that we will need. We'll take a look at the first ingredients. It's the rice noodle. You can either use the dehydrated noodle that come in the package like this, and you soak it in the water, maybe 30 minutes to an hour or so, so get it softened before you can use it in the pad thai. Or you can also use it the fresh one that can be found in the refrigerated section in most of the Oriental store that you can be used this right away. For the pad thai sauce, the, that will be tamarind juice that you can buy the tamarind pulp and soak in the water make juice by yourself or you can buy just this can that's already come in as a juice. And you can use the palm sugar which is go really well for pad thai but if you cannot find it um, cane sugar will work too so this is the other important part this is fish sauce that will be one of the main ingredients and also two of these ingredients is shallot and garlic that you'll be fry pan fry and then you mix into the sauce for the protein today I'm gonna use shrimp to be the protein but you can also use it chicken pork another protein that's going to be add on to pad thai is tofu which we're going to be dice it to be the smaller piece and we will also add one egg at the end of the cooking to add another protein and also texture to the pad thai some of the main one that we cannot miss which is roasted peanut i roasted myself from the raw peanut which I found it work really well be because it give the fresh nutty smell add the dish into another level or is that make it easy for you you can also buy the store bought roasted peanut and you just grind it so that will work as well these two ingredient is optional but it will be great if you can find it and add on to it because it's definitely add another depth and layers and texture into the dish this is sweet radish. It's really um, high content of sweetness and su um, saltiness in there and also add the crunch in every bite, your pad thai. And another one is dried shrimp. And before we use this to cook, we're gonna soak it in the water to make it soften for a little bit. But again, if you cannot find it, you can go without it. For the vegetable normally, We'll use bean sprout and also garlic chive. That will be the two staple that you can just stir fry these two into the noodle itself. And then you can use the leftover, which you can cut it in half, be a stick like this, to be the garnish and serve it on the sides. For the preparation, we start off with cutting tofu into small pieces. and grind peanut, which I like to use mortar and pestle, but you can also use the blender as well. Soak dried shrimp in the water at least 20 minutes. Dice shallots and mince the garlic. After finish with the preparation, now we're gonna start making sauce. First, fry diced shallot in medium heat. Cook until shallot got translucent then add the minced garlic. Continue to cook until the garlic turns light brown, then remove from the pan. 
on the same pan. Add palm sugar. We'll bring the heat down to medium low because palm sugar can get burned easily. Continue to cook and stir often. We want to see a darker color of the sugar to add more color to the dish. Next, add tamarind juice. Let it blend and cook for another few minutes. Then add fish sauce. Cook for a few more minutes before add fried shallot and garlic into the sauce. Let it cook until the shallot and garlic absorb the sauce color. Leftover sauce can be keep in the fridge for a month for later use. Next, it's time for stir fry and mix everything in the pan. Starting with fried shrimp in the medium heat. After flipping size and the shrimp turned opaque, then remove the shrimp from the pan. Fry tofu on the same pan spreading out the tofu so they can get cooked evenly. Adjust the heat to medium-high. When the tofu turns light brown, then add sweet radish into the pan. Break the sweet radish pieces and cook until it turns lighter color. Then add dry shrimp. Let the dry shrimp get caramelized on the outside then add rice noodle and water. Cook till the noodle gets softened. The tip on cooking noodles in pad thai is keep the heat medium high to high to get the effect of stir fry and also remain the right amount of moisture to prevent the noodle to stick together. We are looking for well cooked noodle but it still yet has a chewy texture. Next, add only half amount of the sauce into the pan allows time for the sauce to blend it well with the ingredients. Stir often to enhance the blending. Also maintain the right amount of moisture before the noodles sticking together. And add ground peanut. Add extra cooking oil and crack in an egg. Break the yolk and spread out all the egg. Put the noodle and the rest of the ingredient on top of the egg. The egg will help provide some moisture to the noodle. Flip the egg before it gets overcooked. Break the egg into small pieces and continue to spread the noodles apart. Then add the fried shrimp and the rest of the sauce. Add bean sprout and garlic chive into the pan. Mix it all well together. You can turn off the stove so the vegetable won't get overcooked. Fresh vegetables also provide the moisture to the dish. It helps the noodles to spread out nicely. Serving with fresh vegetable on the side. Chili flake for the heat and lamb juice to bring out more flavors. I hope you like this video. See you for the next one.